people and welcome into yet another video I tell you what I'm getting good at this our YouTube thing um, anyway another package um, an eBay purchase uh, set of broken Commodore speakers and um, says the power switch is um, stuck in um, they looked okay condition so I thought I'd give it a bit of a whirl, so I'm just going to unbox this to see what they're like. It's quite heavy. I thought these speakers were only small, but it seems they're actually quite large. So we'll, I'll, I'll cut it open and we'll see what's inside. I tell you what, it's quite helpful when you're doing an unboxing video to actually have a pair of these fuckers ready. So uh, anyway, let's crack on with this. That's the only thing I need now. Tell straight off, packing shit. Yeah, just as a guest, packing is shite. Um, let's just get this turn this around. Yeah, I know the fucking broken, but come on, you know, fucking the fuck not on that. Anyway, um, let's take a look at them. Yeah, there you have it. Happy days. Get them out. Get rid of the box. Fuck me, they are fucking huge. Jesus. Get rid of that. Right, now on the listing. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Let's try and get a close up in a minute, but it looks like this is cracked. That is fucking jammed. And it looks like on closer inspection that um, it's been glued. So yeah. Fuck me, they're huge. Here's the other one here. So this is lighter. Commodore logo. Um, I'm assuming they're SCOM. That one's not bad. Yellow around the sides, on the top. Um, I'm assuming this has got the power supply in, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, from closer inspection, someone's side having a go at opening these as well. They're all fucking marks around the sides of them. Big dent there in the corner of the speaker. So, I'll uh, bring, the, bring the camera down closer and we'll, 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 we'll take a little look at it closely. Right then. Here we go. I'll leave that one for now because that's not really a concern. I'll tell you what, they look fucking nice in there. Right, take this away. I mean, I should really power them up and test them, but with that power button stuck, I don't think I'll be able to. So I'll probably just hope that these work. Oh, come on. Right now, looking at the at the sides, it tells me that these aren't easy to open. Um, actually, that, yeah. screws there. I think I've had a set of speakers like this before, and they just didn't open from the back. Oh no, that's not to keep that in place, that'll fall through. Swear that one. Right, okay. Just feel free to entertain yourselves. Nah, that's not going on now. My guess, my guess, my guess. My guess is they won't open from the back. Nope. I wonder if this will come off. I wonder. Right, okay. Um, right. I'll check this uh, Check this out closely. Right, just before I go any further, you can just make out like some sort of glue or something. 
there. And see that is fucking wedged then. Looks like someone's trying to get this off as well. Whole thing's a fucking mess. Yeah. Oh well, I think the plan is I'm gonna go in from here because I'm assuming the screws in here. I've had speakers like this in the past where the screws are inside and you've got to pop the grill out. And that tells me someone's neither been in and tried or they've been in and they've been unsuccessful in fixing this. But yeah, see, as you can see, the fucking marks there from previous attempts. So yeah, I'll I'll put the camera back on tripod and uh, and and we'll see what we what we can do. Right, lads, we're going in. Right, that can't do much more damage than what's already been done. Oh yeah, right. Pretty hard. Pretty hard. Slight bend in that, but I'll, I'll sort that out later on, no doubt. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, just as I thought. Six screws. Right, I'm not going to bother high collapsing it because I can't be asked. So I'll cut it and I'll come back to when I've took the screws out and just took the cover off. Right, all six screws removed. It just leaves me to take these off. I'm assuming these are going to be easy. Yep. One, two, three. That was easy. Oh, fuck, I'll find that in a minute. Right. Oh, yeah. She's off. She's off. Let's be screwed to have a gun. That was one, one fucking screw, isn't it? Always neither stuck or refuses to come out. Okay, well, that's a big. Big unit inside. Wowza. Right, that's why it's so heavy. Transformer. Yeah, just as I thought. Screws to hold in the transformer and the inputs. So this is the area I need to be con concerned about. Um I think I might take the whole of this off to give me a bit more room. It's a bit awkward I think at the moment. Try and get all this. Oops, what was that? Should be alright. Right, okay. Right, I'm assuming this should really just pull out, but I think because that is being glued, I don't think it's no. It's as easy as just pulling it. No, this must be no screws. Can't find no screws. So what the fuck I was going on with that? Um, let me see. Right, um, there's two here. That's on the old man, though. That's got to get. I might have to fucking prize this out, I think. Yeah, this is proven. Tricky, this one. Yeah, that's it's glued. It's a fucking glued. Yeah, bit of movement there. These pots. I might have to push the whole thing out. Right, I'll, um, I'll 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 try and free it anyway. Be back in a minute. Right, I've taken away the front plate, and just as I thought, someone has glued. Whoops! Someone's glued all that, and I think the glue has gone into the switch and jammed it. And also, there's three nuts holding all that in, so that was why it wouldn't come off. So I'm going to take these out and I'm going to see what the crack is with this. Yeah, I'll just show you the back of the plate as well. That's pretty beat up like. See there where the, where the glue's been. This is a shame. But anyway, that's what I can do with it. Right, well I've managed to get these three screws out from nuts. It's just proven a bit of a bastard to get out. I think because some fuckers jammed it. Um, right then, uh, might just have to push it, hope for the best. Oh, what was that? 
clear from the side first. Little push. It will go. It will go. I'm confident. I'll see. Should be able to sort of get there. But there's movement in it. Yeah, there's movement that way. There's movement that way, and it's stuck. So I've freed it one end. And I think just with a gentle push, well, when I say gentle, a forceful push, I can see the glue there. That's keeping it. Oh, yeah. I've got it, I think. I think we've got it. Yeah, there she comes. I'll tell you what, I'll be fucking gutted if the actual power switch is fucked. Right. Success. Right, I don't know if you can see that okay on the camera, um, but it's there's a load of glue residue there. There's some underneath there as well. I'll try and get a close up in a minute. But yeah, watch this. In, out, in, out. Now the next test obviously is gonna be plug the fucker in. I'll see if I get a green light or anything. And if that is the case, um, well, I'll plug it in to get some sound, but oh shit, I'm assuming it will be fixed. So, could have been an easy fix this one. Yeah, happy days. I'll, um, I'll power it up and see what I get. Right, I've turned off the artificial light just so you can see Look at that that mess that was keeping the power switch in. So I don't know what the fuck and I'll whoever had this last um has been doing with it. Uh, I, I loaded buy this off eBay. It has actually come from a an, uh, an animal charity, so you can't blame them. They they just must have just got it enlisted as this. So yeah. Um Right, I'll power it up and I'll see what I get. Right, I've powered it on. And what do you know? Green light on, slight noise from the speaker, which is normal. Little little slight buzz or hum from the transformer. Again, also normal. So yeah, um let's see if I when I've getting zapped. I'm trying to do this with a fucking GoPro on my head as well to see if I can get a different POV. So there's on. And the light fades away too off. So I think I'll just give this little thing a bit of a sand down. And I, I'm hoping that's it. Uh, I probably won't test it until I put it back together. I think I'm just going to put it back together and try. See if it works. But all looking good so far. So, you know, I'm I'm, I'm quite hopeful on this one. Um, so, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably I'll put it back together. Do you know what? Whenever I start these videos, I always should be prepared. Um, could I fuck find any sandpaper? So I've managed to find a piece of emery um, paper in the shed. So here's the deal. Um, I have sanded the glue off the, the switch and I've freed up some of the hole where it sits in as well. Um, now, it's not secured yet, but as you can see when I show you, if I just put pressure on there, in and out, in and out. The only shame is um, these. I'm gonna have to try and like do something to make these look a bit better, but I don't know. It's plastic, it's not metal, so it's quite brittle as well. So yeah, but yeah, that's, I'm gonna put it all back together and then we're gonna give it a test, but obviously before that, I'm gonna clean it all up as well, because. I also like cleaning all this shit up when I get them. So yeah, let's uh, we'll see how we fare with this one. Thanks. In, in, in. 
Yeah, just about, but something's still, something's still keeping me from actually working properly. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. A bit more sand. I think we're done on that one. I think I'll just probably give it in this hole there, to be honest with you. Looks like it's had that fucking, what's it called? Ackle bait in it or something, or fucking stuff that's like water, sticks your fucking eyes together. Paper, it's just a bit of emily, emily paper. Hopefully, make it a bit better. See, one of the glues being used is um, it's just caused the thing to be fucking warped as well. So, oh, yeah. Right, well as you can see it's back together, um, cleaned it all up, uh, as you can see, switch works as it should now, um, I just need to pop the knobs back on, get the fascia and maybe clean this up a bit, just to make it, I don't know, scale the crap off it, um, and then pop the grill back on, I'll fix the little dent in it as well, make sure um, that's secure. And then we'll give it a test and then we'll see if they work because I haven't tested them yet so I don't know. May not work. I think that's <clears throat> right, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. Yeah, nice and flat I think. Right. Yeah, it looks nice and flush, I think. Man. Hopefully, although there may be a bit of plastic taken out, chunk taken out. So we can get this in there first. Alright. Right, well I've sanded all the crap that was around here, little bits here, so it's looking a lot nicer than what it was. It's certainly working a lot better than what it was. Yeah. The grill's gone on sound. There's a slight bend here, slight little thing where some fuckers had the screwdriver in. Um, I'm not too concerned about that. I'll clean up best I can. As long as it works, I'm, I'm happy because apparently these speakers are supposed to be quite good. So yeah, um, there you go. I'll, I'll, oh yeah, the fascia as well. This needs to be kind of sourced as well. So maybe I can make another one somehow. Um, it's It hasn't got a Commodore logo on it, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I don't know. I'll see what, I'll see what happens anyway. It's just a case now, I'll just clean this up best I can. Yeah. Always find using these magic erasers. They're the best. Dip them in water. Squeeze them out. And they get the most crap and grime off things. Obviously I've got a bit of um, glue residue. I might have to try and get that off. I'll probably, when I put it on, WD-40. Is normally a good little source of um, for getting these that bits of crap off. So I'll just give this a clean best I can and glue it back on. Just the other bit there. This is the 
this is the really fragile one as you can see don't want to snap that middle piece let's give it a little light a light rub right i think we're done with that one so i'll pop it back on and um, see where we go from there right well we're all back together um i've actually used 3m strips clear strips to uh, stick that rather than glue it still needs a slight little clean up maybe around here but um yeah it's looking I've, I've given them a good clean as well so it's looking really nice now apart from the yellowing which is you know expected at some of these things there uh, so this is the this is the first test now um i've got the amiga 1200 all fired up ready to go i am going to try some jesus on ease um one of the best demos i think for the amiga um so i'm going to power it on there we go green light on yep 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 jesus on ease let's see if they work Come on, baby. Oh, here we go. Mm, nice, really nice. Really nice. More bass. More bass. That's a success. Give it a full ball. They sound really, really nice, I must say. Wow, they really impressed by that. Oh, happy days. Happy days. you like this video um i have as always i've uh, i've had fun making it um I, i'm not an expert i'm not an electrician i just like to mess around with um electrical things i have done since i was a kid so um yeah it's always an interest and with me getting back into the commodore and the amiga back in about 2013 um I, i've had quite a lot of stuff over them years um which really i should have documented and I fixed them. I've had a few fails, like we always do. Um, but yeah, I've had some some successes. One of the successes, as you can see in the background there, is still going strong. The CRT monitor. If you haven't checked out that video, check it out. Um, this I know was an easy fix. I, I just like to, I just like fixing these kind of things and bringing them back to life, cleaning them up. Um, so what's next for this? Possibly. I might retro it or I might just leave it, I don't know. Um in, in terms of sun now in Britain we're fucked with with you know we're into a autumn winter kind of thing now so um and in terms of keeping them I don't know I, I haven't got space for them or uh, someone may move them on or I may just keep them I don't know. Although they do sound really nice, I just literally haven't got the space in this room. Um but yeah I, I don't know. Um but yeah cheers for watching and uh I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, lads.